What is up, everybody? Hi. Uh, I can't remember when the last time I did an episode was. I know there wasn't one yesterday because my mom surprised me with a surprise visit. And well, I'm not going to say no to a, visit, to a visit from my mom. So uh, we spent basically the entire day uh, together yesterday. And uh, after that, I had a bunch of things I needed to do. So I couldn't really go outside and, make an, and do an episode. But I'm here now and uh, just in time to welcome in this brand new event not this event uh, Luminous Legends Y to celebrate the arrival of Yamazal the Pokemon of death I guess anyways uh, as you can see we're going to need to catch five shadow Pokemon five dark type Pokemon and defeat five team go rocket grunts and I'm going to do that right now uh, with this uh, Alolan Grimer which I believe it's a dark type, or maybe a lower muck is a dark type. It's poison dark, which is a scary type combination, but uh, if it is dark like I remember it is, it's gonna serve us well in, in the mission. Huh. Well, what do you know? It is a dark type. Okay, cool. And then there's this Pucciana right here which is also dark type. I mean, there's no question about that. It is dark type. Okay, cool. That's, uh, that's the second one. Let's battle this uh, Team Go Rocket uh, Balloonish Grunt. And he's got bug type Pokemon. Pretty sure Iberia can take care of all of them. Obviously the um hmm, a score up high. that's new for a team go rocket bug type grunt. But okay. Um the whole um battling team go rocket grunts, that's not nothing new, that's uh the ooh, aqua tail, that would have devastated us. But yeah, that was uh similar to um the Xerneas missions. Oh no 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 no! Well, at least at least he's not using steel type moves with sizzle, which does help us out a lot. Okay, I guess this sizzle was a little on the flimsier side, and I mean, he went from a scissor to a scyther, which is four times weak to rock. How oh, nice! Fun fact though, Scizor and Scyther's stats are identical to one another. I believe Scyther is the only Pokemon that, whose stats just don't change upon evolution. The only thing that really does change is the typing, which, which is, it becomes a uh, bug and steel type as opposed to, it goes from one of the worst types ever, bug and flying, to one of the best types ever bug and steel and obviously its stats change around a bit I mean, it becomes much slower but much more defensive swaps out uh, HP for attack or something like that I don't know I don't remember but yeah the stats on both of them stay the same as they evolve now obviously Mega Scizor can Mega I mean, obviously Scizor can Mega Evolve and by doing that it gets an extra 100 uh, base stat point, but still, it's interesting that they don't really change their stats on evolution. Uh, look at that, there's a Clefairy over here. Must have been left over from the uh, uh, previous uh, batch of missions. But yeah, you can definitely see Yavaltal uh, hovering about around in this. Uh, this gym right here. I'll show you as soon as we're out of this. There, see? Yavaltal! The God of Death! And yes, I know it's pronounced Yveltal, but there's a reason why I'm saying Yavaltal as opposed to Yveltal, which is what the actual name of his Pokemon is. And well, if you don't know why I'm saying Yavaltal, then you're just not cool enough to know, I guess. Now, uh, 
there's a couple of corrupted poke stops let's go over there battle a team go rugged grunt it's a good thing there's two of them there because just in case there's another mission involving team go rocket grunts i can do that other one at the same time oh look at that uh, an alolan ratata that's a dark type it's a uh, normal and dark type first time first instance of this type of combination ever in the games obviously it came back with uh, uh, Galarian Zigzagoon which I mean it's normal dark not dark normal but still counts I guess I mean, it's the same literally the same type combination just they switched it around it's like how um, Noibat and Noivern are flying dragon and not dragon flying people think that makes a difference it doesn't but whatever Okay, here we go. Grunt number one. I will grant you this. Okay, she's a fire type specialist. Should be pretty easy. I always wondered how uh, Gyarados is just using waterfall in this game. Like, it literally looks like it's throwing a waterfall at it. Which is simultaneously cool, but also weird. Somehow. Oh, uh, well, well, uh, well, I guess Houndoom is not to be underestimated. Took out my Gyarados. I kind of feel like I need it's time to upgrade my Gyarados to power it up to the next level because it's uh, kind of starting to underperform lately and I don't like it okay now we just need to make sure to catch the Vulpix that she's going to leave behind sure it'll be easy though See, it's not enough to just beat a Team Go Rocket uh, Grunt. You also have to catch the Shadow Pokemon that they leave behind. Almost to 2,000, but I mean, it's not... When I say almost, it's, not, it's much less close than I think. Now see, here's the thing. For most Shadow Type, Shadow Pokemon... Shadow Type? I almost made Shadow a Type. Most shadow Pokemon, you just need to throw one premier ball and you catch them because they want to get captured because the shadow, what Team Gorocket did to them is horrible and they want you to catch them to save them. That being said, they tend to be very wild and uh, knock your Pokeballs out of, uh, out of the way very often. So, uh, yeah, that's why it's always hard to catch them. Anyways, let's see which, type, which kind of Pokemon are we going to get from this mission. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. A Meowth. Not a Dark type. However, it becomes Dark type in its uh, Alolan form. Pure Dark type. It doesn't even, mm, doesn't even retain the normal type. And, yeah, I forgot, you get 500 uh, Stardust for catching a Meowth for some reason. I guess it's because it's uh, very lucky. Oh, Alolan Rattata. Remember when Alolan forms were first introduced and people start, started thinking that they were Shinies for some reason? Yeah, that was a weird time. Of course, I, um, I wasn't playing Pokemon Go at that time, but... I mean, that time is very well documented because things just tend to live on forever on the internet. Now, here's one thing I do appreciate, is that they actually t uh, had a number counter telling us how many missions there are for this, uh, um, this uh, Luminous Legends Y event. Seven. 
And we, so far, this was the first of those sevens. Now let me see. Let's see, that's the second of the seven. Purify three shadow Pokemon. Purify. Huh? Okay, that's weird. So I basically I just need to purify seven shadow Pokemon. Interesting. Let me just check because I I think most I, I just I don't I don't usually purify these Pokemon anymore. I just uh, you know evolve them and send them away for the experience because you literally get nothing from purifying them. Other than, I guess it's part of a mission sometimes, but hold on. Let's, hold on, see more. See more butts. Do, 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 do. Shadow. Apparently I have six, so I only need just... And I'm not purifying the legendaries. Oh, look at that, there's a magic carp over there for some reason. No, why would I keep um, a Shadow Magikarp? What is the benefit in that? I guess I can uh, transfer it. Well, that's weird. I didn't even know I had a Shadow Magikarp lying around. Still, kind of helped me with the mission. Let's see. For the most part, I think... Purifying does not, it's nothing other than just a waste of stardust because I mean, yeah, their IVs get significantly better, but they lose the um, the shadowness being um, just straight up super effective on everything. That's that's how shadow work, they, they get a significant boost. That's why. You see, most people just don't purify their shadow Pokemon because you're essentially, you're making them stronger in the IV department, but you're making them weaker. Um, oops, I, my bad, I accidentally evolved a swine up into a pile of swine instead of uh, purifying it. <laughs> my bad. No wonder it took so long. Because purification does uh, work a lot much faster than evolving Pokemon. But yeah, I mean, I mean, if you got a Shadow Pokemon with good IVs, don't purify it. I mean, its IVs aren't really going to change much. I have a friend once caught a Mudkip, perfect IVs, which is crazy, 100% IVs. So that's. Why would you even purify it? Just evolve it into a Swampert and maximize it. And you got a powerhouse water and ground type Pokemon on your side, which is great. Anyways, uh, three more to go through the purification process. Actually, one more. Huh. Must have lost count somewhere. Well, it works for me, I guess. Purifi. Now, I guess, I suppose the one benefit you do get from purifying a shadow Pokemon is that it takes less Stardust to um, power it up. But that's about it. You don't really get much other than that. Okay, and I lost a lot of Stardust purifying these shadow Pokemon. I just hope... Uh, this mission was worth it. Okay, five uh, hyper potions, three revives, and one of these, which I, I don't really need because I already have the the full thing. All right, let's see now. Another Alolan Radita. Seems as though this event. Really likes those things. Yeah. Well, but yeah, that's the main reason I have a lot of unpurified shadow legendary Pokemon, especially the legendary birds that I got from Giovanni. 
And there we go. Now we just have to find and defeat the Team Go Rocket Grunts. Hopefully, we can try and uh, reclaim some of the Stardust we lost. Purifying those Shadow Pokemon. But anyways, I think... How long have I been recording? Yeah, about 15 minutes. I think that's long enough for a full episode. Because... Uh, I kind of have to go soon. Like, I have a bunch of stuff to do today. I, uh... I have my, um... Fan League match on Multiplex uh, later tonight. And I still haven't finished my study sessions. I watched all the movies in the YA dystopia category, according to them. But... Still need to watch all of the, um, in the Mission Impossible movies. Now, see, I have watched them before, just fell asleep because I was really tired while watching them. And hopefully, I can watch them all without falling asleep again. Now, I did watch the first one two days ago, so that's great. But, hold on, what is, what's this? But yeah, I only have time to watch the second one because I've got I've got to get myself ready for this um, Zoom meeting for a potential new job, and uh, yeah, I only have a, sh a short amount of time to do that. So I need to uh, upload, edit, and upload this video, this episode. Sorry watch the uh the second uh mission impossible movie at least to get myself ready and uh, then get ready for the zoom meeting and uh after that i really don't have much time to to do anything because hmm, galarian ponytail because it ends around seven and my match is at 11 o'clock. So maybe I'll have time to watch the third one. But I'm not making any promises. Anyways. Um, so yeah. I have my work cut out for me. So I might as well get on that. And you know, I'm going up against a former champion in two different divisions. Well, maybe not two different divisions. They're both fandom, but it's just singles and teams. But still, he's a former champion in two divisions. And I'd be lying if I say I wasn't nervous. But, you know, you can only worry about your questions. You, you just can't worry about which questions he's going to miss. You can only worry about which questions you're going to get right. So that's really going to be my strategy going into this. Just answer every question that I get thrown my way. And just hope he misses at least one of his. And maybe uh, I'll have some sort of advantage going to the third one. But I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah, so we did a bunch of stuff with the uh, Yavaltal. No, well, not Yavaltal, it's just um, Shadow Pokemon. We talked about why you shouldn't purify. Oh, speaking of Dark type, it's rare to see a Carvana in the wild. That's great. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. We talked about the Shadow Pokemon and why you shouldn't purify them. And, uh, well... Maybe we should at least find one of the Team Go Rocket leaders. So we can at least fight one of them on camera. I'm obviously going to beat all three of them potentially off camera. Just to, you know, speed up the mission. And obviously there's going to be a battle with Giovanni at some point. Right? Huh, well, what do you know? The, one of them is right underneath my house. 
Well, how rude of you! Well, uh, interesting. You don't get a super rocket radar for um, completing this mission, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, Arlo, I can take on Arlo. It's Cliff that's giving me the most amount of problems lately. You know, it used to be Arlo was the easiest, then Cliff, then Sierra was the hardest, and now everything's flipped. Now Cliff is the hardest, and Sierra's the easiest, and Arlo is like, yeah, it's okay, he's beatable. But yeah, every time they switch up the rosters, it's it really throws off your game. And it, I think they actually did it again. Um, because I, I don't think I remember I think I would have remembered Arlo having a Venonet okay since he's going for a, a shield anyway I gotta use a bulldoze on him because that gives me the advantage I, the, just the time window I needed to take out his venom net and oh would you look at that my 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 well 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 how the turntables yeah it was his main neck trick that really swung the battle in my direction now i can just take him out and just in time too because the camera just went out hold on give me a second you know i was hoping to avoid that whoa that was such a lucky break that I used the shield but yeah well I mean we're both well I'm gonna do neutral damage to him but he's gonna do resisted damage to me and he's also out of shields now and I can just do this yeah I was I was hoping to avoid having to turn off the camera and you use the secondary one on, but it didn't happen unfortunately which is why we're in the situation right now oh no well on the bright side at least they have one more pokemon on my side he has nothing there we go that is how you beat arlo despite the fact that he changed up his roster. And we got a cliff sticker from beating Arlo. That's weird. Anyways, anywho, as they say, let's just catch his shadow venonet. And I think, uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a good enough time to wrap up this episode. And, uh, well, I gotta go and get ready for my, uh, for my match and, uh, the Zoom meeting that I've got. Um, this is one of the things that's crazier to me. I mean, like, even when I'm unemployed, I'm a busy, busy man. Somehow. I don't understand how that happened. But, I suppose that's it for now. And, uh, well, I'll see you next time I decide to make an episode. I'll probably share maybe the results of my match from tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hello again everybody! I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.